Hello, my name is Dane Potter, Applications Engineer with Go Engineer. Today I'm going to show you how to create a fabricated piece of pipe using insert bin using sheet metal functionality. You may not have a piece of pipe out on your pipe rack that is the size and shape that you want for your special application. So we are going to create one. First thing I'm going to do is define the OD of our pipe. Create a sketch with the OD of 8.625 since it's a 8 inch piece of pipe. We're going to use thin feature because all we have to do is tell it what the OD of the pipe is and the wall thickness. Any pipe table that you have, that's exactly what it tells you, so that's your design criteria that you have to start with. In order to create a piece of pipe, it needs to be welded at some point. So we're going to create the gap in which would hold the weld. I'm going to create me another sketch here. This time, we're just going to create a center line. Define the sides of our cut. Make these two symmetrical so the cut is exactly centered. Give it an angle since this is an 8 inch pipe. If we want to make the gap an eighth inch wide, that arc length is 1.660. Turn it OK. Exit the sketch and create the cut. We view it, that is exactly what we want. Hit OK. So now we have a cut running the length of our pipe. Now we just need to flatten it. We come to our sheet metal command manager, say insert bin. Here we just need to define an edge. That's what's cool about this functionality, is we just need to tell it what edge that we want to flatten about. And then it's going to do the rest of the work. So I'm going to select that top edge there. So hit flatten. Now there's our flattened piece of pipe. Now we can take a piece of plate, cut it to the right length, roll it, and weld it. So let's say we want to put a cope in this. All we need to do now is create a sketch that defines the cope. We have an 8 inch piece of pipe that we're coping against. So we just need to use the same diameter, extrude cut, through all both sides, and create the cope. Notice how it places that before the flat pattern, so that way we still have an accurate flat pattern. Thank you for watching this quick tip by Go Engineer. My name is Dane Potter.